WWE star Alexa Bliss is expecting the arrival of her first child. Today, Alexa Bliss revealed that she and her husband, Ryan Cabrera, are expecting their first child. The baby is due this December. Alexa told E! News that she and Cabrera were shocked when they found out she was pregnant saying it was a total surprise and that they weren't trying at all to actually have a baby. The couple said that they couldn't be more excited about the baby's arrival. The 31-year-old Bliss and 40-year-old Cabrera got married in April 2022. Alexa Bliss hasn't been seen on WWE programming since unsuccessfully challenging Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship at the Royal Rumble this January. She posted a tweet in March clarifying that she wasn't on hiatus from WWE. WWE's Braun Strowman is reported dealing with an injury. PW Insider reported on Tuesday that Strowman is currently out of action with an unspecified injury. The report states that Strowman is currently on the disabled list and is not expected back anytime in the near future. Strowman hasn't wrestled since the May 1st episode of Raw. PW Insider said that one WWE source believed that Strowman may need to undergo a surgery, but that they have not been able to confirm the nature of the issue. Following her tag team title win, Ronda Rousey has issued a call for WWE to improve its women's division. The New York Post spoke with Ronda Rousey after she and Shayna Baszler won the WWE women's tag team titles on Monday's episode of Raw. While assessing potential challengers for the titles, Rousey called the WWE women's tag team division dismally shallow. Ronda said that there's not enough women around to keep her and Shayna busy for a month. Well, the lack of competition is really the problem. I mean, we want to be the most active champion out there. I want to be able to defend this title every week and even twice a week on both SmackDown and Raw. But with how dismally shallow the women's division is right now, there's not enough women around here to keep us busy for a month. And so that's the biggest challenge that we have is to get this company to actually care and invest into this tag division. Shayna and Ronda became women's tag team champions by defeating the team of Raquel Rodriguez and Shotzi, Bailey and Io Sky, and Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville in a fatal four-way match. The titles were vacant going into the match due to an injury that was suffered by Liv Morgan. Additionally, Ronda told the New York Post that it feels like the women's division got stripped clean between her two stints in WWE. Ronda made her return at the 2022 Royal Rumble after having been gone since 2019. In the interview, she added, it was like the entire women's division just got stripped clean. And now we're the women that are the women that are left trying to piece together. You know, stories and a division, a tag division with around 10 women or even less on each roster. I mean, we're trying the best that we can to make chicken shit into chicken salad. And we made some amazing chicken salad on Monday night. Additionally, in her interview with the New York Post, Rhonda said she and Baszler have been lobbying to wrestle together in WWE for years. Rhonda said she isn't worried that working together on screen will affect their real life friendship at all. Brian Danielson, MJF, Tony Khan, and more spoke out on various subjects following the conclusion of Saturday's AEW Double or Nothing. Here are the most important tidbits that came out of that media scrum. Let's start with MJF. In a match between the four pillars that had been built up for months, MJF picked up his third successful title defense with a side headlock takeover pin on Darby Allin. The match aired in the co-main event spot as the Anarchy in the Arena brawl took top billing. MJF mentioned that he felt that the world title main eventing shows was a dead idea saying that both WWE and AEW have had shows where the world title didn't headline. Moving on to Chris Statlander, the new TBS champion. Statlander returned to AEW and defeated Jade Cargill in an impromptu match to win the title at Double or Nothing. Jade Cargill's undefeated streak ends after 60 straight victories. Her TBS title reign ends after 509 days and 25 successful defenses. Statlander had been out of action since last August after suffering a torn ACL. She underwent surgery to repair the injury in September. This is Statlander's first championship in AEW. She was asked a question about her recovery. Statlander said that her six to eight month recovery went about as expected, but had self-doubt during it. She said at first she had hoped that the knee injury was just a hyperextension. She said that she cried when she learned it was another ACL tear. 
Regarding a future match with Jade Cargill, Chris Statlander said she was up for it and that if Cargill wanted to take some time off, that was fine too. Now on to Orange Cassidy. When asked about Forbidden Door, he brought up Zack Sabre Jr. as a potential opponent. He was also asked if Cassidy considers himself one of the best wrestlers in the world, to which he said no, not even close. Tony Storm is once again the AEW Women's World Champion. Storm defeated Jamie Hayter at Double or Nothing to recapture the women's title for the second time in her career. Hayter, who has recently been suffering from a legitimate injury, according to Tony Khan, was attacked prior to the belt by Storm's outcast teammates Ruby Soho and Soraya. The attack provided Hayter with a storyline out for the loss and played into the work of the match itself. When Storm's interim title was brought up in the media scrum, she called the interim title BS. Brian Danielson also spoke to the media. Nigel McGuinness was brought up, with Danielson being asked about All In and if McGuinness would be a possible opponent. Brian Danielson said that Nigel McGuinness should keep his mouth shut because he is no longer in the physical ability to keep up with Brian, noting that he didn't have the same intensity that he had back in 2006. When asked if Kanoshki Takeshita is part of the Blackpool Combat Club, Danielson said he had no idea that Takeshita would be there in the main event. Now moving on to Tony Khan's portion of the media scrum. He was asked if CM Punk would appear on the first episode episode of Collision. Tony Khan said that he could not answer that at this moment. Regarding all-in ticket sales, Tony Khan said that the current number was around 65,000 sold and the gate was around 8 to 9 million. Goldberg's name was brought up with Khan mentioning that he had spoken to Goldberg recently. However, he said that was not unusual as he talked to him many times before and have mutual friends. During an appearance on Chris Van Vliet's podcast, Will Ospreay addressed his contract status. Will Ospreay stated last month that his New Japan Pro Wrestling contract is set to expire in February 2024. That led to speculation over whether Will Ospreay could jump to another promotion, but Osprey clarified that he expects to come to terms on a new deal with New Japan Pro Wrestling. He reiterated that in the interview, noting that he just doesn't want to move to the United States, saying, I am very confident that me and New Japan are going to work something out because I just don't want to live in America. That's my full stop thing, I just don't want to. He admitted that he's tipping his hands a bit by saying he doesn't want to live in the US basically saying that he'll sort something out with New Japan. Rhea Ripley has seemingly responded to comments made by Max Caster at Double or Nothing. Ripley and Dominic Mysterio were mentioned on Sunday's pay-per-view ahead of the trio's title match between the acclaimed and the House of Black. Max Caster's pre-match rap referenced the real-life relationship between Ripley and Buddy Matthews and Ripley's on-screen role with Dominic in WWE. Max Caster said, Buddy acts all ominous while he's getting cucked by a kid named Dominic. On Monday, Rhea Ripley posted to social media saying, Hey, at Dominic Mysterio, we're over in two companies. And more baby news. During his entrance for the four-way world title match at Sunday's AEW Double or Nothing, Sammy Guevara and Ty Mello announced that they are having a baby. And last but not least, former Impact Knockouts champion Jordan Grace has become a free agent, first reported by Fightful. Fightful reported that Grace's deal expired this month and that she is going to take some time away from wrestling to work on outside projects. In April, she took first place in several categories in her first bodybuilding competition and has also become a millionaire through her OnlyFans page. The 27-year-old both debuted for the company and signed her first deal there in 2018, followed by her signing a multi-year extension in 2021. There you go. That is your quick news roundup for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to chat more pro wrestling with me, feel free to hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Latest.